Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Cursed Ghost Town of Kinke Horde, Chapter 7, Where's Aldo? If you guys enjoyed today's video, as always, be sure to smash that thumbs up button, hit subscribe, and turn the notifications on so you never miss a future upload. Ah! Alicia wails. Who the fuck are you? He shouts. He hears a clicking noise followed by a banging noise. Suddenly, a beam of light shines through the almost pitch black cabin. L speaks up. Ha, ha, hello? It's Sheriff Oliver, the shadow figure says. L thinks to himself, thank God, and quickly replies. Holy hell, you gave me quite the startle. Sorry about that. It was not my intention. The two men are now standing in the cabin as the rain pours outside. Didn't think I'd see you again so soon, L says. Well, the oddest thing happened on my way down the mountain. I saw a truck exactly like yours drive past me. There was two men in the cab. I didn't think much of it, that is, until I approached the rest stop and saw the same truck. All doors were wide open, with no one in sight. Wait, what? Where is Arnaldo? L says with worry. That's why I came back here to see if he was here. I still can't explain seeing that truck when I left, Sheriff Oliver states. I'm sure your brother is fine, he reassures. If he doesn't show up by morning, give me a call, he continues. What the fuck? That's it? Alicio says frustratingly. There isn't much we can do at this point. Missing persons can't be reported so quickly. Besides, it's a new place. Maybe he's just sightseeing. If I don't hear from you by morning, I'll come back and make sure everything is all right. Try to get some rest. The sheriff turns around and makes his way out of the cabin. Alicio standing there, in the dark, confused, sightseeing, at this time of night. What a fucking idiot, he thinks. Useless. I'm stuck up here with no vehicle. I'm not going to be able to sleep, so I might as well look around the other cabin. Rain still falls heavily. He makes his way over to the other cabin. He opens the door and enters. The cabin has seen better days for sure. As he's walking through examining his surroundings, he hears a creak and looks down. One of the floorboards is loose, just like at home in the attic, thinking to himself. Looking around to find something to pry the board up, he spots a rusty nail. This might work. He starts to pry the floorboard up. It comes up fairly easily. Shining his light into the crevice, he sees an old wooden box and gets chills. It's the same box from the fucking attic. How? Panic running through his veins, slowly opening the box, he observes multiple arrowheads. What? He thinks. Along with the arrowheads is a note that reads, Whoever finds this note, you need to leave now. This place isn't what it seems. It's dangerous. It kills people. It's hungry and wants to eat. What the fuck? He blurts out. As he continues reading, I don't know exactly what is going on, but all I know is my family bought this town, and since then, Everything went array. Death, sickness, and debt befell on us all. Sadly, if you're reading this, I have too come to the same fate. Hopefully this information can help you. It clearly didn't help me. The riddle goes as follows. Where blue meets brown is where the first clue is found. Where brown meets blue, you'll find number two. Find the highest peak for clue three, no time for bore, look due north to gaze upon clue four. The answer inside is what you see. What the hell does any of this mean? He questions himself. Where blue meets brown, could that be the stream? Do they have to be in order? If I'm going to figure this out, I need to try and get some rest. Hopefully, Arnaldo will be back by morning and we can figure it out together. L makes his way back to his cabin. He walks inside. 
Brr, it's cold in here. Hearing what sounds like footsteps, he shines his flashlight towards the sound and sees a black mass go through the wall. Who's there, he yells. Nothing. Nothing at all. I must be losing my fucking mind. He lays down in bed, tossing and turning. The roar of thunder, the flashing of the lightning, and sound of rain start to dissipate. All has fallen silent, and Alicio drifts off to sleep. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I want to make an announcement. The Horde does have merch. If you're interested in copying any, head straight over to streamlabs.com slash k-i-n-k underscore e-h-h slash merch. Love you guys. Peace. Oh, <laughs> oh,